Good evening, members of the school committee, honored guests, Principal Lafayette, Assistant Principal Giuliano, members of the faculty and staff of Norton Public Schools and Norton High School, district administrators, parents and guidance, families and friends, and of course you, the class of 2015. It is my pleasure to be with you this evening as we celebrate this culminating activity. Graduating is grounded in many thank yous. You've heard some of them this evening. Teachers, staff, parents, and guardians, family members have all had a major part in getting you to tonight. Most, if not all of you, will not remember a single word that I say. But let me try to give you a couple of hints. Michael Dell, in his 2003 speech at the University of Texas, noted the following, and I quote, Try never to be the smartest person in the room, and if you are, I suggest you invite smarter people or find a different room. In professional circles, it's called networking. In organizations, it's called team building. And in life, it's called family, friends, and community. We are all gifts to each other. And my own growth as a leader has shown me again and again that the most rewarding experiences come from my relationships." End quote. I can't tell you how much I believe in Dell's quote. Relationships are all about understanding others and yourself. It is about making good decisions about others and yourself. It involves collaboration and communication, and it doesn't take an educated man or woman to understand this. Life is challenging enough, and one can't do it alone. So as you walk out our doors and enter the real world, try to find the right relationships. Relationships grounded in doing what is right all of the time. You will make mistakes, but how you correct these mistakes will be grounded in relationships. The defining moment in one's life is not at his or her death, but in what others say about you as you live your life. Don't wait for others to define who you are. Define yourself based on your relationships. In the end, life is too short and we need each other. As a great 20th century thinker said, Forrest Gump, life is but a box of chocolates. Your job is to find the right cho chocolates. My best wishes as you leave us and remember to come back and visit us. Go do good things. Congratulations. But according to Doonesbury cartoonist Gary Trudeau, the real reason is that commencement speeches were invented largely in the belief that students should never be released into the world until they've been properly sedated. <laughs> Finding a way to connect across the de decades separating you, who have hair, and those my age, who may have little, can be a <laughs> But this year, when reading your scholarship essays, I think I found a way. What you wrote in those essays told me much about what's on your mind, and I was impressed. I'd like to share some of that with those of you who have come proudly to watch you complete this major milestone in your life. Reading your words, I was struck by a few things. First, the quality of the writing was very good and there was really not a great difference between their eloquence. Having been on a school scholarship committee for another high school for more than 20 years, I can tell you this is not common and it is quite impressive. Writing well is a challenge that any of, for, for any of us to master and I must say that it's evident our students received an exceptional education in expressing themselves through their written word. In this era of texting with its acronyms and abbreviations, this is no small feat. This required part effort not only the part of the English department, but across all disciplines. Let's pause here to applaud the teachers who contributed to, the parents who worked with, and the students who worked towards this remarkable achievement. The other thing that struck me about the essays was the thoughtfulness of what you wrote. Graduation is a perfect time for us to pause a bit and reflect on the lessons and values you conveyed with the words in your essays. In your essays, you describe the satisfaction that comes with community service. You spoke of the joy you found working with younger special education kids 
in the Little Weffles or the high schoolers with special needs in the Best Buddies program. You spoke about how much you care about family. Now, several of the young men expressed their desire to marry and raise a family. Unfortunately, none of the young women expressed the same. <laughs> so you may have your work cut out for you in this department. And gratitude was a common theme. It's heartening to find you so appreciative of the impact and importance of your teachers at Norton High, of your parents, and of your community. A number of you even aspire to become teachers. Some have already started through internships in our elementary schools. Most of the students describe in one way or another how much they got out of growing up in Norton, how valuable their experience was to them, and what a solid foundation they'll have as they leave us for the next chapter in their lives. You also showed great insight in understanding not only the value of education, but the considerations your generation faces regarding its cost. While this may contribute to and shape your decisions for your future, I hope you'll still follow a path that you find fulfilling. And I hope you won't have to live in your parents' basement for too long. <laughs> Despite cost concerns, so many of you set your sights high and have solid goals. One of my favorite descriptions was goals are dreams with deadlines. A number of you wrote of the master's degrees you already plan to pursue, some even law degrees and doctorates. One student even commented he had his eye on retiring early. <laughs> I can tell you that at, my, at your age, these were not things that even remotely occurred to me. You're way ahead of the game. So while some of you are already sure of your path, more than a few don't quite know what to do just yet. You're not sure if you're ready for college or if you are going to college, you're not quite sure what you're gonna do when you get there. And yet somehow, despite being in your late teenage years, you know this is okay. And I think that's just wonderful. So this is the part when I talk about where all the students go to school, but that's already been done. So I will just briefly say, those of you who chose to go to school in Florida, is it really, is it truly, can you say truthfully, was it last winter that <laughs> led to that decision, or did you really like the school down there? So the interests of our students are quite broad and, and just really amazing. They want to study engineering, international relations, public relations, law school, business, physical therapy, computer engineering, criminology, biomedical engineering, nursing, psychology, optometry, veterinary medicine, sports medicine, industrial design, on and on and on. Even a yoga studio on. Education, already planning on which field of education they'll go into, and so, so many more. I don't want to take up too much time with that, but it's really quite a, quite a, quite a broad range. To wrap up, I'd like to quote Yogi Berra who said, it's tough to make predictions, especially about the future. So as you head off to your future, let me end with one piece of advice, one that as a college professor I share with my students. Pick a hill and climb it. When you get to the top, you'll be able to see further and be better able to pick another. And through this process, you'll find your way towards the place that's right for you, even if you're not sure where that place is just yet. As your family, friends, and community, you've made us proud. Congratulations to all of you, and very best wishes in your bright future.